Well, one of the city's most popular East End street festivals is returning this summer. Councillor Paula Fletcher says Taste of the Danforth will be held this year for the first time since 2019. It was, of course, cancelled in 2020 and 2021 due to the pandemic and called off last year due to what the BIA called logistical issues amid a disagreement with the city over the feasibility of taking away bike lanes. Taste of the Danforth typically held the second weekend in August and features dozens of food vendors, music and other attractions. And the return of the popular summer celebration comes as the city is investing $2 million in local festivals. The Caribbean Carnival is one of the marquee events and it will be one of 44 this year to receive funding. The money is intended to help organizers deliver diverse and sustainable programming that makes Toronto vibrant, attracts visitors and builds community. These cultural festivals are so important to enhancing the social life and vibrancy of the city of Toronto. Cultural festivals have an incredibly positive economic and social impact on Toronto from creating employment and volunteer opportunities, attracting tourists and revenue, raising awareness of important issues and creating social connections. And they're also a lot of fun. The Cultural Festivals Funding Program has been designed to support the development of the festival sector while promoting access, equity, inclusion, service innovation, excellence and resilience. It means that you will all have an opportunity to, to really be in a vibrant city, and we all need that now more than ever. It also grows that cultural sector. Uh, someone is inspired, surely someone is inspired at each of those festivals. They think, what can I do? Um, what do I want to do in the arts and culture sector? And so every young person that sets foot in the parameters of one of those festivals is inspired. The annual Pride Festival is among the recipients, as well as several other neighborhood favorites, including Salsa on St. Clair, Luminato, Toronto Jerk Fest, and the Toronto Dragon Boat Festival.